Hey there, this is Betsy from Cole's Classroom, and today we're going to answer one of the most common questions that we get surrounding RAW files. So if you shoot in RAW, and you have ever noticed that when you take a photo with your camera, you may look at the back of your camera and think, this photo looks great, it's perfect. And then you take it into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever photo editing software that you prefer, and you realize that the image looks completely different than it does on the back of your camera. Why? So today, that is the question that we're going to answer. We are going to talk about why your image looks different on the back of your camera when you're shooting in RAW than it does when you pull it into Lightroom. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples of my own uh, just to kind of illustrate and to talk about what this might look like so let me just show you here. Um, I have now this is the I'm going to show you some photos that I took. This is not very high tech. Um, I took a picture of the back of my camera um, with my phone. So it's not super high quality, but it conveys um, it conveys exactly what we're talking about here um, because I want to show you and just kind of give you a visual for what we're talking about. In case you've never experienced this, um, I'm gonna show you what the back of my camera looked like when I took some photos of my dog. So this is just a phone photo um, of the back of my camera, right? And you don't need to worry about the fact that you, it's not totally like in focus. Um, a photo of a photo, <laughs> a photo of a screen is never gonna look the way it does in real life. But you can see, that the image is nice and bright. Um, I've captured his red coat really nicely. Um, here's another one where he's sitting so pretty for me. It's again, nice and bright and his um, nice red coat. You can see the color there. And then let me show you what these photos looked like when I pulled them into Lightroom. Look at that. That's the first one. And that's the second one. Let's just pull those up side by side. Let me, like just for an example, let's just kind of put these right here. Look at the difference. Really different, right? So if you've ever been in this situation, you might be thinking, what on earth? earth why does this look so dramatically different i know that when i was first starting out that was a question that i asked i could not figure out um, and i did not understand why my photos looked so dramatically different so we're going to talk about it because if you've ever been in the situation it can be a little bit alarming you might be wondering what on earth so the first thing that we want to do is we want to talk about what a raw file is if you have never um if you've never fully understood what it means when we talk about raw files, it actually means pretty much what it sounds like. When you're talking about a raw file versus like a JPEG or any other type of image file, you are talking about raw data. So the file that is produced when you shoot in raw, that is not actually a photo, a complete photo file. It is a file that contains a lot of data inside of it um, that still needs to be processed. It has not been processed. However, a JPEG is an image that has been processed by your camera. So still, why the difference? The difference is because when you are taking photos, what you see on the back of your camera when your um, display shows you the, the produced image, that is a JPEG. And so even if you are shooting in RAW, the preview that you see of your photo is a JPEG preview. And a JPEG is an image that has been processed by your camera. So within your camera, it is processing that image and then showing you, here is what your processed image looks like. However, when you bring that RAW file into Lightroom or Photoshop, it is bringing the actual RAW data that is unprocessed. So you'll see here that that data without any processing is kind of drab. 
it's not very colorful. Um, it certainly does not look like what we saw on the back of my camera, right? Um, even on a crummy phone, back of the screen, low quality image, you could tell the dramatic difference between this raw file and the other. So when you're shooting in raw, you have to remember that what is stored on your memory card, it's not a completed JPEG. It's not a processed image. It's a preview. What you're seeing is a preview, but what's being stored and what you're transferring over is the actual raw file. And that's why we can't use raw files directly. That is why we have to process them with software like Photoshop or Lightroom in order to create them into a finished image file. So that is also why, if you've ever wondered, like, why do I need special software? Why can't I shoot in RAW and then just open up the photo like I would with any other image? That's why. Because again, it's not a final image. It is the RAW data. And so sometimes that RAW data, it's not going to show the processed final colors. It's just going to show that data. So once you understand that, it becomes a little bit less scary when you pull your images into Lightroom or Photoshop and you see how drab, um, how dreary they might be. Uh, but let me just show you. Let's go ahead and uh, just for fun, let's process um, this image. So I'm going to use my clean preset. Um, I have a couple of them. I'm going to use this one and this added just a little bit more. I'm going to still bump up that exposure a little bit because it's still not quite as bright as I want it. The shadows are a little darker than what I would want. And so with this preset, let me just show you all I've done <clears throat> is I've bumped up the exposure. I've lowered the highlights. I've added a little bit of contrast raised the shadows and the whites, brought down the blacks a little bit. Don't need to do anything with the texture here, but I did bring up the clarity just a little. And I also like to, let me close this up. I also like to add some sharpness. I don't need quite that much uh, to my images. And so then the final thing that I would do is probably just kind of straighten it out. Um, I'm looking at this, these posts behind him to kind of determine what to use there. There we go. And there we go. So quickly as that, I'm able to process the image. That just means editing it, adding in uh, some of that vibrance, some of the color, some of the saturation. If I wanted to, I could come in here to the HSL panel, play more with the colors, um, aside from kind of what I've already done with my preset there. And there you have it. Now we have a processed file. So it's really just as simple as that. Um, so keep in mind, next time you're looking at your camera thinking, I've got a great image, yay! And then you pull it into Lightroom and it's totally drab. You don't have to panic. That is just because you need to process the file. And if you've ever wondered why that's happening. It's uh, We want you to be assured that it's not because you're doing something wrong. It's because you're bringing in raw data and now you have the opportunity to process that data as you would like to. And everybody processes or edits a little bit different. Um, but that is why we call it post-processing when we're talking about editing in photo editing software. So hopefully that helps you understand why your images may look significantly different if you're shooting in RAW, when you look at the back of the camera and you bring them into Lightroom. It's nothing to panic about, it just means that now it's time to process your photo.